not a test. This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the annual purge sanctioned by the U.S. government. Weapons of class 4 and lower have been authorized for use during the purge. All other weapons are restricted. Government officials of ranking 10 have been granted immunity from the purge and shall not be harmed. Commencing at the siren, any and all crime, including murder, will be legal for 12 continuous hours. Police, fire, and emergency medical services will be unavailable until tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. when the purge concludes. Blessed be our new founding fathers and America, a nation reborn. May God be with you all. Well, we back at it. We back at it. And I told y'all, I told y'all, once we start scratching the leaves, we'll find something. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet. And I appreciate all the subscribers. Hit that like button. Before you even start watching the videos, you know, don't forget to hit that like button. Drop down in them comments and salute to all the brothers and sisters down in the chat. So salute to all the bulldoggers and dog lovers from one side of the world to the other side of the world. But I told y'all it was a reason. I told y'all it was a reason. Some of these YouTube dog men, you know, like Thompson Kennel, was voicing their opinion when I was talking about tent. And the bootleg dogs. You see, I knew it was a reason they was voicing their opinion. So all I had to do, that's why sometimes it pays to just mind your business and shut up. You know what I'm saying? See, now when I go to digging in his pedigrees, Thompson Kennel pedigrees, I see that he represents the triple A bred to a tense dog, which was a modern day tense dog. Is exactly why. You know, he's feeling the way he's feeling. And, and, and saying some brothers may be trying to uh, give their lines more credit than other lines. You see, it's just because he got the same exact bloodlines that I'm speaking about in the dogs that he's pushing. You see, and let me let me show you what the dog is. Let me show you in the background, and then we're going to break the pedigree down. Now, when you're looking at pedigree, in the back, you see the tense Manchu dog or the Hellboy's Manchu dog. That's the suspect dog, and that's the dog that Thompson Kennels uh, based a lot of his yard off of. You know, that Triple A tense Tory breed. The Triple A tense Tory breed is the dog that Thompson Kennel based his yard off of, and that's why he's speaking up for David Tant. Because it's like I told y'all. The bootleg is going to get out and start yelling and hollering and hooping. You know what I'm saying? Saying this and saying that. But like Pro and Game Mag say, just slap them with the pedigrees. You see them fall out and start acting crazy. Slap them with them pedigrees. Yeah! Slap them with them pedigrees. Hit them with that bootleg. Slap them with them pedigrees. <laughs> but the moment you say that, I know it's a reason you say that. I go check your pedigrees because that's what it's all about. Pedigrees is what's getting up here. Talking about this, personal, that, personal. All we're talking about is pedigrees. It ain't making your dog no less of a dog. It just make all that talk and all that, that game you're trying to spit to these brothers for a dollar uh, less credible. You know, that's all that is. So now you got to represent, your dog got to represent for himself. If your dog don't got a name, that pedigree ain't going to put no name on it. Not off that, that, not off that tense motor. Mind you. Tense Manchu is not going to put no name on him. See? So I understand why you say what you're saying and feel the way you feel. But sometimes, like I said, you just got to mind your business and be quiet. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's a modern-day Tense dog. You know, like I told y'all, he spot the bootleg and was out. It just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You know how many people got them dogs off that particular dog that you got there? Tense Manchu, you're not the only one with it. You know, you think the boys going to get rid of their dogs because of the findings? You can't you can't change the findings. You can be mad all you want, but the findings is the findings. You know, you can be mad. You can want to say this ain't that. This, it don't matter about that. You see, new evidence shows this. <laughs> 
And I still can't figure out why every time one of y'all dog men get to talking trash, especially when y'all live in the South and North Carolina, every time y'all get to talking trash, I still can't figure out why the first thing y'all scream is, I'm 45 minutes away. I'm 30 minutes away. I'm an hour away. I'm this. Listen here, man. I don't care if you was across the street. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Um, Like I said, I can't help you raise and bred your dog and yard off the stuff that you thought was real, you know, and it's not your fault. Like I said before, y'all brothers acting like I'm saying it's y'all fault. I know it's not y'all fault, you know, but it ain't going to stop us from telling what happened. You want to be mad at somebody, be mad at the man that shit you. You know, you can't be mad at me because I'm telling you the man shit you. It's like somebody, oh, you mad at me because I say, oh, yo, uh, hey, man, them boys, them boys Rob Thompson. Them boys Rob Thompson. You mad at me because I'm telling people you got robbed, but you ain't mad at the people who robbed you. <laughs> Where did it do that at? Where did it do that at? And I clear I can't get in no argument with somebody who I know, who I know, don't look at me as equal. <laughs> I ain't about to argue with you. You know what I'm saying? I ain't about to argue with you. All I gotta do is stay successful on this what I'm doing. And I know that that'll hurt you. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing what I'm doing, you know, and that'll hurt you. And let you keep saying your little slurs in your videos. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing about these videos that be on YouTube from the past when we have these videos for y'all to watch. Pay attention to these brothers' attitudes throughout the years before they meet certain brothers, before they meet this person and meet that person. See how they talking then. But hey, like I said, we just talking about the pedigrees and we just talking about these dogs. And right now we found Thompson Kennel with a whole bunch of that fake tank stuff in his pedigree. I told y'all, like I said before, when they when they start hollering, you must know they got hit. You know what I'm saying? You must know they got hit when you hear them hollering from the distance. You know? No. Like I'm going to say it again. This is no discredit to the dog that you got in the yard. And that's what a lot of y'all better realize. You can't live and make no money off that shit that that man shit y'all off of back in the days. No more. No more. No, 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 sir. Pitt Island got a bunch of it. You don't hear them? You don't hear them out there scraping and yelling like y'all boys? Pitt Island is one of the founders of the bootleg stuff. They didn't know it. Tent shit them with the Red Devil stuff. They didn't know they was getting scrammed. You don't hear them out there screaming about it because they know how to work their bootleg stuff to make it look like the legitimate. To make it work like the legitimate. Like I said before, it's only them puppy pillars. Them puppy pillars and them fraternity members. They got something to say about the rise and fall of a dog fighting kingpin tent. Episode one, part one and two, and the reaction. But hold up, man. Hold up, man. Hold up, man. You know. We got to remember, you know, in the, in the mix of all this going on, you got to remember, there's a two-time Samurai Kennel Digital Dog Show champion out there that has to be dethroned. His name is Demon. His name is Demon. He has to be dethroned, you know, unless he will keep rigging in championships. You know what I'm saying? He will keep rigging them in. Now, I know it's a whole bunch of great-looking dogs out there. whole bunch of great dog owners. You know, I see no reason that demons shouldn't be a little nervous next 
some of our Kindle Digital Dog Show once they see the competition coming for them. You know what I'm saying? You got to give big salutes to Gas and Gold Kennels Demon. Big salutes to Gas and Gold Kennels for representing, holding it down, and winning, bringing it back home when it comes to the Summer Rock Kennel Digital Dog Show. Uh, I want to say the fall edition of 2023. You know. Hey, and that brother hit him from all angles. He won the best in female. You know, that brother was hitting him from all angles. And that takes work. That takes hard work and dedication. You know what I'm saying? Knowing what your goal is, coming to put your work in, and going through with your goal. And reaching the finish line. When you wanted to reach the finish line first. You know, so big salutes to gas and go. Like I said before, man. We're going to promote them dogs. You know what I'm saying? The ones that are doing the right things out here. We're going to promote them dogs. At the end of the day. Now, let's look at another pedigree. You know, let's look at another pedigree where we got Thompson, Thompson Kennels, Brooklyn. Let's look at Brooklyn which is another heavy bred tank dog on the top side. You know, not too heavy, but heavy enough for him to speak out. Heavy enough for him to speak out. We'll just check this pedigree out, and then we're going to talk about it. Now, Thompson Kill, it's mighty funny how one time you was one told me you didn't want all that attention over there, right? You didn't want all that attention over there. But yet, you you jump in a conversation and nobody said anything about you. You jump in that conversation. So now we know Brooklyn, heavy bread tent. You know, uh, the first dog I said was heavy bread tent. Now, let me check my other, my other pedigrees, brothers and sisters. You know, I told him I was going to check the uh, pedigrees on him. Yeah. Now, when you look at all, of, all the dogs that I pulled up from Thompson, if you look very high in the high right-hand corner of the fourth pedigree, you're going to see that same tanks dog. If, if you don't see it one time, you see it at least two times. In the fourth generation. You see? You're going to see that same tense dog in the fourth generation. Manchu. Manchu is from the new era. Bootleg era. Ain't no Bozak. Ain't no Yellow. Ain't no JR. None of them. Ain't, ain't no uh, Big John. Mayday. No, none of them. You know, uh, well, JR's brother, uh, but it ain't no, ain't none of them offspring. You know what I'm saying? No, man. We talking about tents, Manchu, the modern day tents. You know, hey, some gonna like it, some ain't, man. You, you like it, shit. Your, your customers like it, so why? I mean, what's the use to worry about it? Unless they can see something I can see, you know. Unless they, unless they can see something I can see. But we all found out something together at the same time. We all found out something together at the same time. Where we can draw the line at from that real yellow stuff to that fake yellow stuff. We can draw a line and say anything past this line right here. Ain't, ain't no such thing as suspect. You know, we give it a 10% chance. That is all what they say is all. 10%, maybe a little further down, about 7% chance out of 100. Once you cross that 2001 line. And really it go a little bit before that. You know what I'm saying? Really go a little bit before that because he's been rigging up the yellow stuff way since 94. You know what I'm saying? 93. So y'all brother's not the only ones that got a lot of the stuff that have fake pedigrees. It's not even, this ain't the 
sell no puppies. That's where y'all get it wrong because y'all whole attention to get on YouTube is to sell puppies. This ain't to sell no puppies. This is for entertainment and to let brothers know what's going on in the dog game. And then you be wanting to jump in people's conversations. You know? And when you, when you jump in people's conversations, and then, like I told y'all, I'm going to check the pedigrees. Now we see why you talking all the cap, cap, cap. And little do you know, you was outbreeding that yellow, but really you might have been inbreeding because that yellow that you got, not yellow, it might have been Eli. Might have been some Jeep stuff or some other kind of stuff. Hey, I mean, but I ain't finished, you know. I ain't finished. What about um the uh, the, the Salomon dog? What about the Salomon dog? Full up with the same tent Tory stuff. Tants Tory and Tants Manchu. You know, Tants Tory and Tants Manchu and Triple A. Well, Manchu is off Triple A and Tory. Now, I'm going to be straight up honest with you. You know, let's put this dog Tants Manchu up there, which is Hellboy's Manchu Tanks Manchu. Let's put him on the background. Okay. I'm going to be honest with you. And, and hold up. Let me let you see this full screen, and then we're going to get back to talking about it. Now, if you want to be real, and you know them yellow dogs, that dog Manchu do not look like a yellow dog to me. To say that dog supposed to be off Triple A, bred back to a dog off Triple A, all yellow dogs, the whole pedigree is nothing but yellow dogs coming directly off Triple A. I mean, that dog look like a 30 some pounder. That dog look like a Jeep dog. You know, or some other line of dog. A lot of brothers get it misconstrued because the yellow color and think all of them dogs look the same. It's not. You got to know how them yellow dogs look. And the eyes and the eye settings and stuff like that. That dog there don't even look like a yellow dog. You know, if you ask me, the body structure, he got a nice frame in the front, nice wide thing in the front, you know. But he don't look like a dog that's bred of every single dog in the pedigree is yellow. And then we talking about dogs that came directly off these dogs. This dog directly off Triple E. Now I can expect that from a 2023 yellow dog, Triple E dog that's bred down, way, way down. It may have got smaller. You know, different things start, you know, coming into the play. When you come with the breeding and stuff. But we talking about dogs from supposed to be back then that was bred to Triple E, bred to one of Triple E daughters, and, and different things, like, and, and you know, more yellow stuff at the bottom. No, man. That don't look like a yellow dog to me. You know what I'm saying? But that's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not here to talk about that. I'm here to talk about why Thompson spoke up because that dog is in all his dogs. You see? That dog is in all his dogs. Sometimes it pays to mind your business. <laughs> Go hard. I'm about to eat this fool up. You got that fake yellow stuff, man. You got that fake yellow stuff, see? Hey, one thing I can't say, boy. The brat and all them, that's that real deal yellow stuff. All them dogs, that's that real deal yellow stuff y'all boys be talking about. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ain't my fault, though. Ain't my fault. Hey, that's when it goes to them brothers like they had the dogs back in the days off yellow. Way back in the days. You know what I'm saying? Hey, salute to y'all brothers, man. Salute to y'all brothers. Cause these brothers in this modern day time about to catch hell. You know, every pedigree I peep out and I see them, it's just my opinion. It's just my opinion. You know, some people don't worry about it. It don't bother you. Cause you know this entertainment, you know it's all fun. You know it's uh truth at the same time. You know what I'm saying? But it is nothing to get rid of your dogs about unless you got something that Tent sold you yesterday. Now, if y'all one of y'all bought a dog from Tent last week, now. You might, you ain't no telling about that now. You know, but we talking about stuff that you done bred year after year after, after year after year after year. You done got a whole nother dog now, man. That dog represents you and your kennel, the one in front of you. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to worry about all that stuff back in tent. 
uh, what we talking about with tent stuff and all that. You know, just listen to it and, and, and enjoy it for what it is. You know what I'm saying? If it ruffles your feathers, like I, like we always say, you know what I'm saying? Birds of a feather flock together. Uh, the shoe fit where? Uh, hey, one thing about it, man. One thing about it. Now, Ben Brockerton and Triple J say for me to go read some Richard Stratton books. Listen here, man. Y'all dealing with a brother that write books. You ain't dealing with ignorance. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, like I told you, and you ain't dealing with a blind, nobody that's blind, and nobody that can't hear, and nobody that can't comprehend. You know what I'm saying? And one, like I told you before, I don't need none of your bloodlines, so I don't care if what I say offends what you got going on. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter. You know? Because at the end of the day, if you didn't have any part to play in none of that stuff that went on, if you didn't have no part to play in what you're trying to get Tank to come out here and do now, and if you ain't trying to paper pedal none of them puppies and using the Tank name to do it, then you wouldn't be out here speaking on it. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't be out here speaking on it. And the brother got a nerve to say, Big John suspect too. I know he was just joking. <laughs> I know you was just joking, my brother. I know you were just joking. But hey, yeah, um, uh, I don't know what to do with them brothers, man. You know, um, you know, all you had to do was just let the let the story come out, let the story blow over. You know, nobody said nothing about this kennel, that kennel, this kennel, this name, nothing. We call one person name. What one person did. We didn't say anything else about any other kennels. Yet Thompson Kennels sit on YouTube all year long. Don't give no good content worth talking about. Call me Uncle Tom and all. Then wait till I drop a video about a man who uh, has no place in the dog game and try to do all that stuff from a distance. To try to represent that man. You want to represent Tank Thompson because you got that blood in your pedigree. You want to represent him that bad. You thought you had some yellow shit. Now none of your dogs got yellow in it. At least it's a good chance it, it it don't. You know, a real heavy chance it don't. Especially with that little amount that you got coming off that tense Manchu dog. You only got a little eighth and a little quarter in it here and there. A little eighth and a quarter. So if it ain't real, shit, you ain't got nothing. Now, Triple J, you know I'm from the South just like you. You know, I'm from the South just like you. And you know you might can fool them other brothers in them other states. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't look at certain things certain ways. But when it comes to me and you, and we both from the South, you already know I can read you, fam. <laughs> you already know I can read you. You know what I'm saying? But hey, you know, you should have just mind your business. You know what I'm saying? Do what you've been doing with your little lawyer thing or whatever and, and just keep doing that, you know? But instead, you want to stick up for a tent. So and all that stuff you're talking about me, you still haven't answered one question yet. All we want to know, we don't care about me reading no Richard Stratton books. We don't care about what kind of dog we got, no none of that. All we want to know is what the money you collected, how is that one lawyer going to represent everybody that's sending you money all across this country? What kind of brothers are y'all to be fooled by this shit? See, some of y'all brothers never been in trouble before, and I understand that. You know what I'm saying? So that's when it comes into play for you to have friends that's not afraid to say stuff that done been in that type of situation. You know, that one lawyer he getting because only represent him. You know, and until you answer that question, all the other stuff you saying don't mean shit to me. Call me what you want. Say this, say that. I don't know this. Only thing I can know about Richard Strat books, like I said, this and that. But you still around here trying to scheme people. What they call them, Ponzi schemes and all kind of stuff like that. You know, uh, tell us how them brothers going to get represented from that lawyer. It seemed to be easier to talk trash to somebody than tell us how that lawyer going to represent all them brothers from state to state that you done took that money for. You see, them brothers might be wanting to get their money back 
You know what I'm saying? Because you're telling them some false stuff. You see, them brothers might be can take a lawsuit out on you because you're telling them false stuff, taking their money, knowing damn well if they get busted over there with dogs, you can't represent them. Knowing damn well if they get busted over there with dogs, you're not going to represent them. Now, until you answer that question, I don't want to hear nothing else from you. You know? Because I... In order to make you mad, all I got to do is play some hip-hop and show some pit bulls at the same time. You know, play some hip-hop music and, and show them pit bulls, and I know that'll make you mad. So you need to be asking that question. Until you answer that question, all the other stuff you're saying ain't hitting no shit. Triple J. But I can't blame you. I guess you're trying to get some of that dope money, too. You know what I'm saying? I guess you're trying to get some of it, too. And I guess I really think Tank coming back was part of your big plan. All y'all was going to run that same circle together. You know? All y'all was going to run that same circle together. Because there's no way that you'll be butting into the conversation when you don't even run that line. The way you do. The way you did. You know? There's no way you'll be butting into something and nobody said your name or nothing about you that you'll be butting into that if you wasn't rolling with him and a part of the plan to come back. But hey, one thing about it, but we see how brothers get, you know what I'm saying? We see how brothers get, because see, I support another brother cause, you know what I'm saying? But when we start bringing out the wrong on this end, brothers won't support your cause. And that's the same way it's going to go when you get busted with them dogs and you're sending all that money to that lawyer. He ain't going to represent you. And you're going to be in jail. What you going to be able to do? You know? We you going to be able to argue with them? We you going to come over here and, and, and want to fight and all that? Listen here, man. If it wasn't for his friends getting busted with them dogs, he wouldn't even care about none of that stuff, period. Period. You know what I'm saying? If it wasn't for his friends getting knocked off with the dogs, you know, in the wrong way, he wouldn't care about that, period. You know what I'm saying? People get knocked off with dogs every day. And I know people sending money. When are they going to get represented? You know? And like I said, that's the only question we want to answer. We don't care nothing about who you, what kind of dishes you got, what, what kind of stories you had from back in the days. Nobody ain't taking your credit back for what you did with the dogs. Nobody ain't saying nothing about none of that. All folks say is hype Explain that Ponzi scheme you got going on. You know what I'm saying? Why you worrying about what we talking about with Tant? Explain that Ponzi scheme you got going on with his brothers donating that money to that lawyer that can't represent him. Can't represent them. Hell, and I love to hear the lawyer say he can represent uh, uh, how he gonna represent all them brothers in them different states. Let the lawyer tell us. You see? Let him tell us. And I make sure I have a lawyer on standby to listen. You know, or if I don't have it on standby, I take it to him and let him listen to it. So let that lawyer tell us how he going to represent them brothers in South Carolina, North Carolina, Georgia, VA, New York, New Jersey, Maine, uh, Wisconsin, uh, uh, Nevada, Nebraska, Omaha, Mississippi, Alabama, jo Georgia, Florida. How you going to represent all them brothers? You know, let that lawyer explain to us that because all them brothers is going to be donating to you, right? All them brothers did donate to you, right, Triple J? You know, right? See? All them brothers did donate to you, right? To your little Ponzi scheme. Your little tank tactic. I call that a tank tactic. You know what I'm saying? A tactic, a way to get money out of these brothers. You know what I'm saying? Do something. Go, you go write a book. You, you talking about reading books? You go write a book. I wonder, can you write a book? You know? Can you write a book? Because I can read, I can write, I can do it all. You know what I'm saying? Publish it and all. Let's see what you can do. You know what I'm saying? Let's see what you can do. Let's see how uh, literate you is. How educated you is, my brother. You see? One thing about it. You can go check Pelican Bay. All my videos from the, from the first to the end. And you ain't gonna never hear a racist slur come out none of my mouth. The same way I feel different about a white person. The way I feel about my black brothers. You know what I'm saying? You're going to always hear me speak the same, same thing.
Go back and check Triple A. Go back and check Triple A videos. Hey, it is, is what it is, though. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You got one brother who basing his yard, 25% uh, of his yard, on the top side, off the tent stuff, so he speak out. Then you got another, whatever you want to call him, on this side, working a Ponzi scheme on them brothers who got that bread these days. Because it ain't no brother going to send no money who really got his kennel thing going on over there and doing his own thing. You know? That's only for the brothers who just want to not really read the, you know how they say read the fine print? Read that contract before you sign it? You know how they say that? That's for the brothers that don't want to read them contracts. Oh, let me send them some bread in case I get in trouble for a lawyer. It sounds good to have a lawyer on standby. Let me send them some bread. Let me send them some bread. But you ain't reading that fine print. You ain't reading that contract. You know what I'm saying? To see what that's really about. You know? But hey, I ain't the one that told you. One thing about it, like I told you, I done been in school 12 years, ain't been in no college. And, be, and you best to believe, you know what I'm saying? I paid attention. I can talk this slang, but at the end of the day, I can talk the proper talk if you need me to talk the proper talk. You know what I'm saying? And I understand things. I comprehend things. And because it fooled one person, don't mean it's going to fool us all. And one thing about it, we all have opinions about everything. You know what I'm saying? We all have opinions. But I never, never really had a true opinion about that lawyer shit until you put it in a conversation that had nothing to do with you. You know, I always say little things because I want to keep my brothers on point, you know, when it comes to this lawyer stuff. Because if you don't know, Georgia done passed it with the dog fight and Rico and all that is involved with each other. You know, I've been told y'all that last year on a video I dropped that the Rico was in the state in Georgia with dog fighting. Okay? Now, for those who haven't been involved with that kind of stuff, you know what I'm saying? If you look at enough TV, TV gonna lead you to a wrong direction. You know what I'm saying? Listen, it's because when I say it's gonna lead you in the wrong direction because you're, gonna, you're not gonna take it seriously. You know what I'm saying? Listen, the folks saying that thing is a gambling thing. Them folks saying that thing is a legal thing. Them folks saying is is involved with murder, is involved with drugs, guns, and everything. Okay? Them folks saying is involved with gangs. Them folks saying is involved with cartels. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when this brother over here that be sending his money get busted with dogs and he want his representation, and little do Triple J know, because this brother ain't going to tell him, little do he know that brother tied up into some other heavy stuff you know what I'm saying? Now, you got another brother over here who want to get that same lawyer to represent him. Eventually, the United States prosecutor going to say, we got one lawyer representing the whole group of people. So let's just charge all these people with the RICO. Let's see how all these people connected. You know what I'm Let's see how all these people connected. And we know that lawyer not going to be able to handle all this stuff because he don't know what the people got going on in their background. And when I say background, I mean what they doing right now at this moment. You see, on Facebook, I can look like this kind of person, but in real life, living like that kind of person. You know what I'm saying? So the one question we want, because I asked one question last night on the show. I said, tell me why Cruz isn't running the yellow stuff if he, if he was partners with um, Tant when they bought yellow. Why wasn't he ever running the yellow stuff after yellow died and all that stuff? Okay, you didn't answer that for me. Now, the only question I want y'all to want Triple A to Triple J to answer is how is that lawyer going to represent these brothers from different states? You know, that lawyer not going to even be to represent brothers in the same damn city more than one case. If that same lawyer keep picking up dog fighting cases, you don't think they're going to tie something else to this or something else to that? He not no activist. He's not out here trying to promote, uh, trying to better these dogs. He's just a lawyer. So now they're going to wonder how is this lawyer picking up all these cases? How is they all involved? But hey, I'm waiting on the explanation. You know what I'm saying? I'm waiting on the explanation. I don't need no explanation from my brothers down in the chat. You know what I'm saying? I don't need nothing from the 
the, 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 the Triple J fans down in the chat, I don't need no explanation from y'all. You know, let him explain it. You know what I'm saying? We ain't talking about all that bashing. We ain't talking about all that talking, no trash. We want one explanation. Why is you taking these people money for a lawyer that ain't going to represent them? And if he is going to represent them, let the lawyer see it. How can he do it? How can he do it? Tell me how can he do it? I don't got to be a lawyer and I can break that down on him. You know, when he get up here trying to talk to folk and act like folk dumb. Hey. It's two sides, man. <laughs> it's two sides. But hey. You ain't heard from the Pelican Bay. You know, you got the one where they wanted to stay the same. And then you got the one where everything changed. You know. Triple J seem to be part of the one that want things to stay the same. The bait, part of the things that, hey, this is, I'm riding with the flow. You know what I'm saying? I'm riding with the flow. All except for when it come to uh, all them filming them dances and all that type of stuff. I ain't riding with the flow with that. I'm staying in the 90s, 2000s era when everything was more masculine when it comes to that. You know what I'm saying? You know, but everything else, I'm riding with the flow. I'm updating with the program. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Get moving on with the technology. You know, I can't help you been on YouTube for 12 years. Like I said, you just got monetized. You know, you shouldn't be arguing with me, period. How can you argue with a brother when you just got monetized? You ain't even making an algorithm thump. You know, you ain't even making YouTube. Don't even, don't even, you can probably post all kinds of stuff on your videos and you won't even get seen by the YouTube system. You know, because they ain't recognizing that, man. They don't even take you serious, you know. And then you got Triple J. We're going to wait for that explanation. You know, we ain't got too much else to say to you explaining why you taking these brothers' money. And then you, we and we might make you for the Crooks Uncovered Part 2. I mean, Episode 2. You know what I'm saying? Because it's all about these dogs. If it ain't about the dogs, we don't want to hear about it. And right now, you're taking a lot of brothers' money. You know what I'm saying? You're taking a lot of brothers' money for one lawyer. Not a team of lawyers, for one lawyer. But since we're talking about scams right now, let me give you some dog news. Well, we got dog and death payments where people were paying some type of health care for their dog. Their dog passed away, and they were still obligated to pay that health care on that dog through that company, to that company. So let's get into that, how folk, they, they got scammed and how things are going with that particular situation. Investigates dog death payments. A family was grieving after their family pet named Samson died. And they were th then hit with another kind of pain. They found out they needed to keep paying for Samson's health plan even though he died. Fox 35's Marie Edinger spoke with that family who has a warning tonight about reading the fine print. There wasn't a person he didn't love. There wasn't an animal he didn't want to play with. He was just one of a kind. Samson was a part of Steve and Tammy Martin's family for nine years. All the neighbors would swing by, say hi, rub on him, so he was a good boy. The 97-pound boxer who acted like a lap dog got sick in May and had to be euthanized. After that, the Martins called up Banfield Pet Hospital to cancel the optimum wellness plan they had for Samson. But then they were hit with more bad news. That would have been awful, right? The fact that you lost your best friend and then for seven more months to still have to make a payment for somebody that you lost seven months ago. That's right, they still had to continue payments for Samson's health plan. You see, the plan is a contract. You pay a monthly or yearly premium that covers things like office visits, diagnostic testing, teeth cleaning, and more. And in exchange for signing up for that program, you also get discounts on other services. The problem is, when you sign up for the contract, you're in it for a full year, even if your dog dies. In fact, in the terms and conditions of a wellness plan agreement, the language in the cancellation section specifically specifically states the pet owner could be obligated to continue paying monthly fees or pay the total remaining plan year installments in full, quote, if member cancels for any reason, including but not limited to death or loss of pet or transfer of ownership. They just had you sign that little electronic pad at the cash register. I'm sure they probably emailed us a contract 
Um, but that was nine years ago. I don't remember. We reached out to Banfield, calling, emailing, even showing up at one of their hospitals in person. We wanted to learn more about the Optimum Wellness Policy and to gain more insight into what happened with Samson. Banfield explained to Fox 35 News, if a client wants to cancel the policy, they can either pay the retail value of the services provided that year, minus the monthly premiums they've already paid for the year, or they can pay out the monthly premiums for the remainder of their contract, whichever is cheaper. The last month cost us $2,000 for his medicine and the extra test that they did. No big deal. We knew it was coming before we authorized it. This we didn't know was coming. After Steve called them, Banfield discounted his balance. The company also said in a statement, quote, we send our deepest condolences to the Martin family over the loss of Samson. We understand how painful it is to lose a beloved pet, and it is always our aim to help families feel supported during this difficult time. The Martins say they still feel this whole thing was handled indelicately. The young man I talked to on the 800 number, when, I, when he told me, you know, you realize you're in a contract and either pay it or we'll just turn it over to the collection agency. There's just no empathy on the other end of the phone. It hurts. It hurts a lot. The Martin family said this isn't about the money for them. They just want people signing up for this service to know what they're getting into. Marie Edinger, Fox 35 News. Oh, and it tops. And boy, you got a nerve to say you 45 minutes away when actually I know you're a little further than that. Well, that means That'll put you in the range of the Carolina Classic Boys. That'll put you in that range. Ah, so what part of South Carolina you in? Where the Carolina Classic Boys is at? You know? Because see, one thing might open up another thing. You see? Them pedigrees might open up where you at, the Carolina Classic area. And you worrying about the bait? I got no discussion for you. You know what I'm saying? No discussion for you. Don't try to bring that heat over here now. All that keeping it, keeping it quiet, keeping it quiet. It is what it is, though, man. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the puppy peddlers, they're going to be mad. They're going to say all kinds of stuff, you know. But at the end of the day, just keep peddling your puppies, man. Just keep peddling your puppies. You just can't rely on that tent stuff. When you giving your little sales pitch, you know, you can't rely on that tent stuff because all the brothers gonna know about it. You know what I'm saying? All the brothers gonna know about it. That's the same way I told y'all. That hog stuff is not throwing off them black rock waller color dogs. You know what I'm saying? That hog stuff ain't doing it. Every dog that you see that got the rock waller stuff in it got the thug and thaw in it. Unless something else hit it. You know, unless something else hit it. That's why I told y'all a while back, that brother dogs did not, definitely did not come off hog. You know, didn't come off hog. We got, now, my partner got a double bred hog male and a double bred hog female off the same litter. Bred them back to each other. Now he got puppies off that. Now the daddy is double bred hog. The mama is double bred hog. Bred them back to each other, and we still don't got a black dog. I just wonder, I, we trying to get a black dog with that Rockwaller cup. That's what we trying to get, but we can't get it. No matter how tight we breed it, we can't get it. And the thing about it, the same dog that the Rockwaller dogs came off of, we using the little mate, the little mate brother to that dog. The little mate brother to the dog that threw the Rockwaller colors, we using her brother, and we breeding inbreeding, 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 and we can't get a black dog. So we wonder how y'all got a black dog just off of the first breeding, the first generation, you know? Been telling y'all, man. Been telling y'all. Wait till I get pro up here with me. Wait till I get pro up here with me. You know, try to get him last night. Try to get him last night, but he'll be up in a minute. He'll be up in a minute, you know? Uh, I just don't know what you want me to say or want me to do. You know, give the news or make up some. You know what I'm saying? Just go over there and make up some dog stuff and make up some names and make up kennel names, make up bloodlines and just give you something to look at, listen to. Make up some cartoons or something. You know what I'm saying? Some comic books or something. You know? You know, I don't know.
one time you don't want you you don't want to know about who getting who get knocked off here and there here and there you don't want to know about that now you don't want now you don't want to know about who are here scamming people who are here railroading you who are here laughing at you in your face shitting on you behind your back or laughing with you in your face rather you know this ain't the game covered up no more like it used to be back in the days. That's what a lot of y'all old schoolers got to You see, because these brothers get on these channels, don't mean they all the way used to technology yet. You know what I'm saying? Don't mean they all the way used to it because when you start getting on these channels, you better know how to conduct yourselves. You know what I'm saying? No matter what, who, who the brother is, me, anybody, you know, when it comes to certain things. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to certain things. Uh, and just because a brother know how to use a YouTube channel, He's still bringing his old school ways into it. You know what I'm saying? Still bringing his old school ways into his platform. Because he ain't learned how to advance that part of it yet. And understand, you know, certain things. But I did what I needed to do with this video. You know, I showed you where Thompson had the bootleg yellow in his pedigree. So that's why he was speaking out. You know, and we're waiting on Triple J to give us the answer to that question. How is that lawyer going to represent these brothers across the United States. Y'all stay safe out there. Y'all stay legal out there. PDK9 is giving it to you the way I always do. Fair and unbiased. Some gonna like it, some ain't. I'm out.